What's up everybody, it's Joshua C here and today this video is a very special video because today I'm going to bring you guys to do house show with me, moi. So let's go. Ayo. Just kidding lah Because I want to show you my new toy here The Xiaomi Mi Vacuum G10 for my house And this is a handheld vacuum cleaner Which looks pretty slick and nice And resemble the very well-known handheld vacuum You know what I mean But this is a white and orange team color That looks pretty minimalist, tidy, clean and atas Premium So, mua suka ah. Now, let's look inside the box Okay, inside the box, you will get the main component of the vacuum with the dust compartment attached, the extension rod, the smart high top brush bar, the mini electric brush, the crevice nozzle, the 2-in-1 brush nozzle, the water tank with mop pad, and also the 2-in-1 charging and storage wall mount, the wired charger. So, this Mi Vacuum G10 has some upgrades compared to the previous one, which is the 150 air watt suction power, the TF color HD screen and as well as the long-lasting 65 minute battery life all right so I'll place the tech spec of this vacuum cleaner here the editor you know lah, because I want to skip that and focus more on the user experience and I have three key points that I want to talk to you guys about after I've been using it for like a week time. So first is the suction power mode. So there's three modes for you to choose from. Eco, standard and high power mode. So for the eco mode, it can give you the longest lasting battery life but the suction power is a little meh to me. But so I will suggest you guys to straight go for the standard mode because the standard mode can give you a better vacuuming power, suction power for all your vacuuming chores and it can last you around 35 minutes of battery life. And if you guys are a super heavy user like me and you have a super dirty room to clean but I'll suggest you go for the high power mode with the high power mode you can feel the torque and the 150 air watt power that really can suck everything out from the floors or your bed everything but it comes with a cost that you can only use for like a 10 minutes time so now if you are new to the vacuum cleaner industry or a new vacuum cleaner a user well and you're so lazy to remember all the modes I mentioned about there is a mode which is called the auto mode for you so this is pretty convenient it will auto switch depending on the floorings or the carpets that you vacuum in and it will switch between the high eco and standard so making your vacuum cleaning easier and you won't have to worry if it doesn't have enough power when you're sucking uh, uh, oops well vacuuming your carpets now next and the second one will be it is super convenient and flexible now this i cannot deny because it has all the accessories that you need for cleaning all your different spaces and different areas like your keyboards with the two-in-one dusting brush the mini electric brush to clean your fabrics hairs pet hair and also the crevice nozzles for cleaning crevices and corners as well as the magnetic mop number three it's super easy to clean I mean the dust cup Yes, the dust cup and the filter system It has a 0.6 liter of dust cup And 5 layers of filtration system Including a HEPA filter That can reduce the fine dust From flowing back out from the air vent The HEPA filter components are washable With just one click You can easily unmount and wash it And it's not too small That you'll be able to clean quite a while Before needing to stop and pour out the dust The last one will be the HD TFT colored display which you doesn't have it on the previous model and this time with this it gives it a pretty more premium and atas feel to it as well as it gives you a pretty easy watch on what modes you're using and what battery life you are having now now you can even press the lock button so that it can go on continuously without you having to keep on pressing it but with the continuous mode you don't have to worry about battery drainage because when it goes on standby mode for more than 
than 10 minutes, it will automatically turn off the display as well as the vacuum and go back, reset back to the default mode. So in conclusion for this Mi Vacuum G10 at the price of 1,099 ringgit, it's pretty competitive for the price point for this kind of portable handheld vacuum cleaner. And for the power with the 150 air watt power suction, well, it's pretty good for all your floors, your fabric hairs and your pet's hair. And many would say maybe this kind of vacuum cleaner is very good for the ladies. But to me, after my usage of seven days, it's still pretty heavy. So it still depends. And if you're living in a very simple space without any complicated furniture, well, I will recommend you for this handheld vacuum cleaner and it will give you a very convenient, easy clean for your living area. So that's all from me today. And let me know in the comments below, what do you think about this Mi Vacuum Cleaner G10 and what do you think about the price as well? So a sub will be very good and also a subscribe. Oh yeah, sub is a subscribe and like for the video and also follow my Instagram, okay? I'll see you guys next time. I'm Joshua C. Bye-bye.